Is Allah's glory limited? No. Exactly. But, but so he what's, has complete control. Exactly. Yes. So what is stopping Allah's glory from breaking through the veil and just destroying everything? It's God. It's God. It's God. But I would claim, and for those who are present, Jesus Christ was a prophet. He was... Was he just a prophet? He was just a prophet. Just According just to like the Quran? Every other prophet who came before him and every single... Pro the one Which? prophet who came after him. So, so if, yes. you, if you have... Sorry, go ahead. No, go no, ahead. Go ahead. I, I just want to ask him, yes. because he was just a prophet. I was curious, uh, which prophet in the Quran did the spirit of Allah was blown into, like, like the, the, was blown to produce him? I'm just oh. curious. Adam? Adam? He, he was blown? Into yes. His God spirit? blew of his spirit into Adam. Mm -hmm. And so the example of to Jesus is like Adam. They say Jesus had no father, so he must be God. Adam had no father who says that? or mother, some people. And if he had no father or mother, then he must be more God than Jesus. Who, who said that? Many Christians say No, that. no they Christians say he rose said. people from the dead. He must be no, God. No, but wait, who, yes. what Christians say, what Christians say, I mean, because I he... I point of one right now, just the ones... Brother, I used to did, be Christian. I used to did say Did you used, used to say because Jesus didn't have a father, he's God? That's evidence that would be supportive, yes. No, because Christian, that's not, the, that's not a Christian argument. You can't point to reason why Jesus is God. Yes, Give I can. Because he claimed to be God. Because he claimed to be. Well, we and, reject that first and foremost. Okay. So that's, tough, that's like circular reasoning. He's God because he claimed to be, and he claimed to be because he oh, is. But he proved it. So what's his proof? Okay, so his you proof. You would have to go to the miracles. Uh, okay, so let, let's, be, let's be explicit here. Yes. So if he's a prophet, yes. he would never claim to be, like for example, he would never claim to share any of the names of Allah. He right? Would, he would never claim that. We exactly. So if Jesus, being the truthful prophet that he is, He'll never claim that. But if he's also, he would never lie. He would never commit blasphemy. Absolutely. So if he himself claims to be God, yes. we have credence to. So we have. Yes. You said you used to be Christian. Yes. So, um, you believe that God is Father, Son, Spirit. Do I believe that God? No, I don't believe that. So when you, you were yes, I you believe. believe it? Yes. So, so you have so. But I came to my own understanding, and I had to reject it. So, like for example, you have. It's not. It's not substantiated. Yes. By what? By reality. Be reality. So wait, 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 your wait. Own understanding? Yes. Or you could say God. So what? Me so so, so what? What is the yes. reality that that gave you the the reason that the Trinity does not fit reality? If you were to just take the whole entire book, uh -huh. first and foremost, the Jews don't believe in that Jesus Christ is God. You do you believe that? Some the, the some Jews, not all. I've never met a. You got, Mes you got messianic Jews, bro. Huh? No, like, I'm in agreement. That's, this is my point. Saying, if you're on that premise, is the Jews that believe but that Jews Jesus is God? But Jews preceded Jesus Christ, and I'm saying they don't believe that he's God. Some of them and, do. And nor did they ever believe that God was three, but they just said he was one. Yes, they did. Because one plus one equals three. Wait, where are you? Where one you, equals one. Grant, where are you? And one cannot equal three. Grant, where are you getting this from? You're saying that the Jews believe that there was three gods? No. I didn't, so, God wait, so, so, so time out, so time out. So uh, there's a lot of, of straw men in these, in these assertions. Yes. We don't believe in three gods. Okay. And this claim that the Jews believe were Unitarians all, through, all throughout their religion, that's not true. Okay. Have you heard of the two powers of heaven? What is it? The, uh, they believe that God, there was a, 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 a multi-personal uh, being sharing share this nature. So this one God is multi-personal. That's what they taught. You ever you heard of the Ancient of Days and the Son of Man in Daniel 7? They believe that the Son of Man approaching the Ancient of Days is a divine person sharing the same nature as the, as, uh, the Ancient of Days. So up to Jesus Christ, this was taught. I've never heard of any anywhere that Jews said God is in fact three parts. He's not just a nobody. Part. Nobody. No Christian says God is three parts. No, three parts in one. Nobody says three parts. We don't believe God is Jesus, in parts. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Not he's, parts. He's, he's he's one made of three different parts. No, no see, see, no. So how, how no, no so so good. So, However you frame it, you're not going to find that before the Christians made that claim. That's not true. And we believe Jesus Christ did not make that claim. He made the same claim as those who preceded him. Where do you get that and from? We where say, do you get that from? You yeah, yeah, where do you know that? Jesus says, him and the Father are one. <sighs> no. And we what, say uh, Muhammad and God are one in their message. Please, wh wh not watch. Just watch. So, so just, just, just for example, because if Jesus Christ defecated, he ate food because he was imperfect. He needed caloric energy. Took on a God human form. God doesn't need these things. Took on a human form. And you can't say he took it on human form because he needed to learn what it's like to be human. That, no, one, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. that. So why did he take human form? So, so thank you. Yes. The, the, the best thing to do yes. is to be like, why do you, why do you think that this happened? Why do you believe no, that? I know. Like, but don't. Go ahead. But you just yes. said you just said we believe that he took on human form to learn what it's like to be human. No Christian believes that. No 
Christian believes that. No, no, no informed, no, let me, let me, no, please, please, brother, please. No informed Christian would say that. No informed Christian. We believe that Jesus became human because he had to live the life that we couldn't. He had to uphold the law that we couldn't so that he can substitute himself by taking on the wrath of God in our place. That's why he became human. That's the biblical reason. So if any Christian is uninformed saying we believe that Jesus became human because he had to learn to be what it's like to be human. That's incorrect. It's, un, it's an uninformed. So, so we believe. Who committed the first sin? No, brother, like, let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me. We're going to agree that sin came through, through man, right, Adam? No, let me, let me roll with so this. Brother, 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 please. Jesus. Brother, please, let me roll with this. Because we're talking about the, like the claims of Jesus. Yeah, of course. So in the, in the Quran, in the OD Quran, God says they did not give God his true appraisal, like his true value and worth. So on the one says hand, that in the Bible said, too. Okay, so on the one hand, you said God is almighty, he's all powerful, he can't be weak and all these things. And then in the same statement, you say, yet he came in human form, he died, he was spat on and, and belittled in this way. God is above this in our belief. He's so, he cannot do these types of things because he is on perfect and he can't be perf imperfect, not even for a moment, let alone a whole lifetime. Really? What, what is it? What is it? What do you mean by imperfect? Human form is imperfect by so, so you, because we're limited by a body. Okay, so do you so you don't you believe that God cannot limit himself freely? God cannot limit himself because he's all perfect. Okay, do, do you believe that Allah has a veil? That God has a veil. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Does God have a veil, something that blocks him and his nature and divides it from him and creation, separates him from, from creation? I don't know if I could I can't answer that question. Okay. I don't know. That's fair. I, Grant, I really appreciate yes. you, bro. You're honest. Yes. So, uh, in there's a hadith that says that Allah has a veil. And even the Quran, and the Quran talks about it too. Um, but let me just show you the hadith really quick because we're it gives. We're going to get back to how God can be. You're, we're, we're talking about if God can freely limit Himself if He wants to. Right. Like if He can restrain His infinite power for a, for something He wants to do. Okay. So you're saying you don't believe God can do that. So I'm trying to show you that that's inconsistent with Islam. Yeah. Okay. okay? So. And um, let me get this hadith for you really quick. So this will show. Is, is, go ahead. Is the veil veiling mm -hmm. us or veiling him? Uh, those are two different things. I you think know, like some windows, like you could there maybe you could see through, but right. you can't get the other way. So what do you mean by veil? Yeah. So uh, I'll show you. I'll yeah. show you what it means. So this is uh, a. have a time uh, limit. Okay. Okay. I, I appreciate the conversation, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. So Sunan uh, Ibn Majah, 196, greatest Sahih, okay? The Messenger of Allah uh, said, Allah does not sleep and is not befitting for him that he should sleep. He lowers, excuse me, he lowers the scales and raises them. His veil is light. And light is power. Right, but it... equals MC square, light is power. No, but, but pay attention to this. Yes. Is light created? Yes. So Allah veils himself in a created thing. With power. But it's a created thing, right? I have a hard time following what you're trying to, the context so, you're trying to say. So, let, let, let's yes. continue. So, his veil is light. Yes. And if he... Nur. Nur yep, would nur. be the word. Yes, for light. Yes. Nur, nur is, light. is like a... I it's mean, light, bro. Uh, it's divine. It's, it's, not just like, it's not just... It's light. light. No, it's not just like any light, like like um, artificial light or this light from the sun. Nur is something different. That's But that's light. It's just no, called it's light. A different, I don't know, maybe it's a, it's a different, different light. It's a different, it's a different light. light. Like the, the, light. The, the word would be nor. I, I, I have no problem with that. Right, right, right. So are you saying that this light is, is created or uncreated? Anything, I, I, I don't know what I would say because I don't know. Allahu okay. ta'ala. Okay. okay. But if it's a part of God, then it's uncreated. So, by you, definition. so you would think that, the, okay. But so, I don't know if it, I don't know. Okay. So look, so that's a good, uh, you said yes. if it's a part of God, then it's uncreated. uncreated. So I, I, I'm going to show you that it's not a part of God, okay? So he says, if he were to remove it, so it's something that can be removed. I would say it's a part of God because God is and nor. It's one of his names, I believe. So can he remove God, his light? Can he remove his light? Mm -hmm. In which way? That he, any way he wants. Can he remo just remove his light? He is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, the most kind, but to some people he removes his mercy. I'm not saying mercy. No, can so he, I would say yes. Yes, he can remove his light. As far as I could tell. Do you believe his light is infinite? Do I believe anything that comes from God is infinite? Mm -hmm. The answer is anything that comes from God is infinite. Beautiful. Which is under the same pretext why I said Jesus can't be God. Let, let, Jesus is let's, let's not do, infinite. So yes. let, let's just take this for example now. Yes. So the light is part of God, you said. So the light is infinite and it's also something that can be removed. 
Allah can temporarily remove the light. This is something that's infinite. He can, he can limit this light. The thing about light is this, is there's all kind of light, let's say like electromagnetic on the spectrum. They're there, but it's our limited perception and our abilities of sight. Forget so our just, perception. No, no, my point is this. Just because it's a veil doesn't mean it's limiting him, but rather we're limited from him. Let me but show you. you're saying somehow it's the other way around. I, I'm going to show you how. Yes. So look, it says, if he were to remove it, the yes. veil of light, the glory of his face would burn everything in creation. That's true. So the light, this glory, I'm sorry, uh, the, the veil is is withholding Allah's glory from destroying everything. So he's, is, God, is, Allah, is Allah's glory limited? No. Exactly. But, but so he what's, has complete control. Exactly. Yes. So what is stopping Allah's glory from breaking through the veil and just destroying everything? His will. Exactly. So yes. he can will to restrain his glory and his infinite I wouldn't attribute. Say it's restrained. But it is because no. it's okay. So what's stopping again? Yes. What's stopping it from breaking through the veil and just destroying everything? The it's a far stretch to say on the one hand, like because I already gave you the example. God is merciful. He's most kind. Nonetheless, he decides to withhold his mercy from other people. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't have the attribute of being merciful. Yeah. So but we're not talking and about so mercy. Just because like just because I, I decide not to destroy you at this moment doesn't mean that I don't have the power or the attribute of being a destroyer. Exactly. Yes. Or, 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 or let's do an even simpler example. Yes. Let's say you have knockout power. Yes. You punch me in the face, but you hold back no, so you don't, no. so you don't knock me out. No, no, I wouldn't have perfect knockout power. No, you do. Because if I have perfect knockout power, every time I punch you, you're going to get knocked out. But, unless, but if I don't punch you, then you're going to No, no, listen, to the, listen yeah. to the argument. You have the power to knock me out, uh -huh. but you choose to only punch me to in a certain extent that it doesn't knock me out. The, the problem with that... You, do you get it? Yeah, this is human being. So you can limit that, the power that you, that sure, you put okay. out. Yes. So can God, if he wanted to... Well, it, sh it shows that he's doing it. God is withholding that glory from breaking through the veil and destroying everything. Would you agree? I, I would say this, that the far stretch is trying to use finite minds to understand some, some things that are infinite in nature. And so you're trying... It's like a far stretch. So then and why go against the incarnation of Christ? Because it's, it's self-evidently contradictory. How? I already explained how. But, so, look, hold on, talk about great, great. This, yes. is, this is interesting. If, if so, I were to say <laughs> there's three of us here, but three of us are one, you would understand what I mean. Like, oh, we're all one, like we're one group. Like, no, 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 no. We're literally like, we're one. Like, well, it one in what kind no, of way? Exactly. And so the, one of the points I say itself contradictory is one cannot equal three. No, so no one, like, just like you just said, and we're kind of getting off the point. I, I I'm going to address this, but then go back, okay? Mm -hmm. Just as you said, us three are one. You agree, you, by your example, show that you're three in one sense while one in another. Like three of you, three persons here, but one yes, group. But we're separated. Sure. Yes. So in, you have in one sense where you're three in another sense that you're one. Yes. So we're not saying as Christians when it comes to the Trinity that we're saying that one equals three. Like we're not saying God is one in the same sense that he's three. We're saying that he's three persons, one being two different categories. Right. So three persons with three different personalities. Three different, three distinct persons. Right. So three personalities. Because if you're a person, three, you've got a distinct personality. Sure. And so, so the, the hold, three hold on. Let's, are let's, not the same. We, I agree. That's that's what we say. So, so they're not so, the same. They're not the same person. Right. And with so, but but going no hold on. Going right. back to going back to the incarnation of Christ. When we talked about, a wait, no, really? no. okay, wait, I'm being rude. Okay, yeah. so, but when you said, when I, when I, when we're pressing this here, yeah. you was willing to say, you know what? Hey, I don't think it's fair for us to press on uh, and try to figure out and boggle down the infinite with our finite minds. Yes. So you didn't like reject it or object to it because of your finite mind not being able to understand how this is happening. But when it came to Christ, you have no problem rejecting the incarnation yeah. and objecting to it even though this is something that's infinite right. and beyond our understanding that's taking place why don't you have that same position right. when it comes to the incarnation because i already explained that human beings have weakness we need food we need water we have waste in our body we need to rid ourselves of the waste god is free of all these things that limit humans in this way so you can't say god jesus god came in human form and maintained this infinitude mm -hmm. I guess would be the word yeah he uh, ate food and he drank water and made itself by the way, uh, oh, sorry, I don't mean limited and finite I, um, 
I want to ask you a question real quick. If God wanted to destroy everything in creation, yep. including Jesus Christ, who would stop him? I don't know if you want Jesus Christ is God, so he can't be destroyed. All right, thank you. So God is limited, and he can't. And if Jesus wanted to, no, that, no, God, th no. This is like asking, right. well, you, but you brought it with the brother. You, you was like, can you make? Can you? Is there such thing as a triangle of four sides? Like it, this is literally a contradiction within the question. Oh my God, logic.